Guys, it happened. We got to play Pikmin 4. Have we been waiting for what? Nine plus years for this game. And it finally happened. We only got a small snippet of it, but boy, was it a blast. So, let's talk about it. Let's talk about that Pikmin 4 demo. Was it good? Was it bad? Uh, you probably already know the answer to that because I'm a Pikmin fan to death. I love the series. So, let's start off with the beginning. Uh, you get to play as Olimar. You get to do like some kind of intro with him. And I gotta say, I love I get to play as my boy Olimar. Boy, it was so fun. It was so great to be able to play as him. And with his new companion, uh, I forgot the name of it, but she's cute. The doggy. Uh, and you're at the house level, which I gotta say, what what era does Pikmin take place in? Is that does, take, does Pikmin take place like after all of humanity goes extinct? Cause I swear there's like a flat screen TV in there. I'm like, what? So when we all die in the end, it, the Pikmin are gonna roam the world. Got cool, I guess. <laughs> but then you get to go find the Pikmin that leave Olimar for some reason. Uh, you get to fight the boss. Which, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, being a Pikmin 2 lover, whoo, this hits on every single child bone in my body. Like, it makes me so happy. Cause did anyone else, like, get emotional when the Pikmin boss theme came back? And then the bo the, after you beat the boss, the, 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 the beating boss song also plays too. so good but then uh omar uh olimar leaves and makes like, like the calls and something and then oh he probably dies yeah that's the, it's the end of his story but that's when you come in yeah you get to create your character you get you get to be an oc in the pikmin world you get to save olimar yes you me will save our homie Olmar, and I'm not gonna lie, the customization is kind of mid. I mean, sure, in the grand scheme of things, like you're not gonna be looking at your character all too often. I do love though that, however, spacesuit you pick, like your your color changes, like you'll have with the the blue antenna, the green antenna, the purple antenna, and then all the captains also match your style. Which I really like. I just wish they had better faces. Th that's that's mainly it. We just needed like better Pikmin faces, but it, it's fine. It's whatever. And then you start off the game. Uh, you you meet Ochi, and oh my god, Ochi is so cute. Please, Nintendo, you're probably not going to, but it'd be so cool if you get an Ochi amiibo. I would snatch that up in a second. And then you meet freaking uh, what's his name? You meet uh, Colin, and I gotta say, I love his, I love his swaggy pose. I mean, like, she got the bling bling. And then you go down to the first cave, which caves in this game are back again. If you're a Pikmin 2 lover, I mean, this is amazing, amazing news. And this time around, uh, everything is not randomly generated. You know, caves don't randomly, uh, uh like, w if you go into a cave, that's the layout. Like, that's where the treasure is going to be, where the enemies are going to be. Everything is how it's going to stay. The, the, the creators made caves how they should be functional. So it won't be like Pikmin 2, where if you find some treasure in a spot you don't like, or there's too much enemies in one area, you could reset. And I'll be all moved around, but not just not time around. Everything has been preset, which I can find and more enjoyable. I do like how everything's been now crafted how it should be. That just means that if you find some BS in the cave, that's you know that the developers did that on purpose, just just for just just to spite us. Which is another thing. Uh, Pikmin three was fairly pretty easy for the most part. So Pikmin 4 following the approach of 2 
uh, has some high expectations because I want the game to be more challenging. I want some really challenging enemies. No, I don't want like random bombs spawning out of nowhere kind of BS happening inside of Pikmin 2. But like, I miss like the really tough enemies. I mean, heck, you saw the babies that came out of the, the Empress Bull Blacks. They're back, so I can only imagine like you have to refight that boss and that's not going to be fun. So that's that's exciting to look forward to. And after all that, you uh, get to, you get to go find your ship. You do a little bit of like exploring the world with Ochi. You're going to see what Ochi can do. You can like rush into things. I guess it's a good way to explain how I feel about Ochi. Other than being so adorable, Ochi is really good in this game. Like if you use Ochi, it, it, that's, it's really great. It's a, Ochi is a great companion. Being able to rush into things, which is really great. Later on in the game, you can even hop on Ochi and you can jump up over small platforms since you're, apparently your character cannot jump. And then, I, I guess I could talk more about gameplay. I mean, this game plays like a Pikmin game. I mean, we were all worried when uh, Miyamoto was saying like, oh, the camera is going to be different. But in actuality, it it's not really too bad because you can also lift the camera back up to more top-down perspective, like how all the other games were. So you're not really missing too much. It's just you have the option to now go down much lower onto the surface. But other than that, you know, and then you get your onion, you get the red Pikmins, uh, whatever, y'all be that generic opening stuff, which is all right. But then the true game begins when you get to go to the first level. And oh boy. Let us talk about this game. So, I love it. I barely, because the, the demo ends once you get uh, 1,500 of the sparkly things, which can be acquired from uh, collecting treasures or even defeating enemies when you're inside of a cave. Okay, sim it's, it's basically like Pikmin 2. If you play Pikmin 2, instead of like trying to complete your debt, you're just trying to get enough shiny objects to expand the radar, to search for uh, other uh, people stranded on the planet that lets you get to basically get, get to go to new worlds that kind of thing but yeah i mean it it plays like a pitman game and it's perfect it's really perfect and then you get to upgrade in this game and that is incredible game to upgrade in this game you can upgrade ochi let ochi do some more moves you can upgrade yourself which teaches you the ability to like rush uh, um, enemies or be immune to fire. I'm assuming other abilities as well. I've only able to, to have up to um, for Pikmin varieties. I got to do the uh, red, ice, and yellow. And the ice Pikmin, uh, from early on, they are really good. Really good Pikmin. They have the ability to freeze anything. Like any enemy I've come across, they've been able to freeze them. And it is broken. I can see it being a, like a problem when you have a lot of ice Pikmin with you. Sure, you don't collect the monster parts because once it freezes, the, the monster just explodes into nothing. So it's like that risk reward of like, oh, you don't want to have that monster have more Pikmin types in the future. But like other than that, ice Pikmin can be really good. They can also can freeze the waters, which is really nice. I didn't get to come across any glow Pikmin. We didn't get to do any nighttime such stuff, which I guess makes sense. I can't wait to do that in the future. But oh my days, this game is glorious. This game looks so good. It's everything I need. I want to play more, but I can't. It's so unfortunate. But then I guess to wrap things up, I don't want to make this too long. Uh, the finale, uh, what I'll say is my concerns on the game. Um, little little things that we'll not really worried about before I get that. Um, funny enough, you can't have 100 Pikmin on the on the field. They're doing this thing where you have to find uh, like white onion things. And then you, when you carry those things to your ship, to the onion ship, then it expands. And then you're able to gain more Pikmin in the field. So you start off with 20 and you find a white onion thing and you give that to the onion ship. It'll expand it by 10 every single time which could be really interesting. It, I, it's different. It makes you wonder if, are they gonna keep the cap at 100, you know? Is it gonna be at 100 or will it actually go up to even 150 or 200? I, I don't know. That It's pretty interesting. Uh, and then with even with caves. Or also, same thing with um, 
not with caves, but like you can you collect Pikmin inside of the caves, like how you used to do Pikmin 2 with like the purples and whites. And then when you exit the cave, you just have them with you, which is a really genius way of, intro of introducing you to new Pikmin types. Because that's how you get the ice, that's how you get the yellow, and then once you gotta find their onions, they're not with the onions, you just find them inside the cave and you bring it up to the surface. So not until you find their onions, you can't expand on how much of those Pikmin you can have. So if you find 10 ice Pikmin inside that cave, you're gonna be with those 10 ice Pikmin. You gotta be really careful with them until you find their uh, onion. And you take that back to the main ship and then you can increase that amount of Pikmin for that type. It's very interesting how they're handling it. Uh, I don't dislike it. I, I find it interesting. It makes you want to go and like treasure each and every type, make them feel more special until you finally find their onion and then you can go up to a million of that type, which I really like. And now for the final thing, my only concern I don't know if this is real or not because I didn't get to uh, have more than three types. But there was a thing that Olmar says inside of uh, the, the, the the Let's Play. Well, not says, but like he has like he has logs, and he says that he can only you only have up to three types of Pikmin on the field. I'll try I'll try to I'll try to show that to you guys, and it's really concerning because my favorite part about Pikmin was getting all the types and getting the run with all types behind your back. I mean, I want to see like the white flowers with the yellow flowers with the pink and purple. That look gorgeous. But I don't know until we get the main game. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be a thing or not where you only have three types with the whole game, which if that's true, that's a really weird mindset to have. It kind of like kind of stinky. I mean, I can see it kind of being a thing where you can have ice and purples with you, for example. I guess that can be pretty broken. I, I don't, I don't know. And rocks. I, I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, like, it's a, it's a whole thing. I hope that's not a real thing because I don't want to only be limited to three. Or heck, who knows? For all I know, maybe you only get up to three and then you can upgrade it to the mount to where you have all eight behind your back. You know, is this a thing where we just got to learn more about when we get the full game? And I just gotta say, after I play this game, I just, now I'm in like the Pikmin world. I, the, the worst part about this demo was that I played it, cause now I, I can't wait anymore. I need this game. But anyway, l let me know what you think about Pikmin 4. I don't know if you guys played it or not. I mean, you, you should, it is free. You should all give it a try. <laughs> all, yeah, hey, more Pikmin fans, the better. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Uh, comment down below, all that BS. Anyway, bye bye guys, and remember to eat your beans. Green beans, in fact. Those are the healthy ones, because they're green.